In this demonstration, we will import an initial design model into Ship Constructor and prepare to model the basic design. The shipbuilding industry has several well-known naval architecture packages. These tools produce different surface qualities and metadata. It is important that we have the ability to reuse this information progressing through the design phases. Prior to importing the model, we will need to activate the task in order to manage and track changes. Our hull form will be imported from Rhino. To do so, we will need to select the surfaces to import, set the units, scales and orientation. We need to define location groups. Location groups are a combination of several imaginary planes. The frames will be defined with a 700 mm spacing. Next, we'll create the longitudinals and decks. Finally, we will create a location group for the stringers aft of midships. Location groups will be referenced throughout the project. We can now mark sections onto our surfaces based on the location groups. We'll focus on the midships section and in later demonstrations, develop this part of the model through to the generation of class approval drawings. We will also project the frame sections onto the aft section of the ship and use them to create a stringer shell. Stringers can be created using the stringer shell. In this case, we will set the stringer positions based on the girth fixed location group set up previously. Back to the midship section, we can extract the curves from these mark lines and use them as hull trace construction lines. Planar groups can be created from these curves in groups based on the curve orientation and its location relative to the world coordinate system. We can now begin modeling the midships section. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com. Thank you for watching.